Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Today we continue our travel coffee series. A lot of times when you travel, you go into the hotel rooms and they have these little coffee machines and they make not the best coffee in the world. Even though these machines often use K-cups, they don't make the best coffee because they're small, they don't heat the water very much, and they don't create enough pressure to really make a good K-cup cup of coffee. So this series is all about new products that you can use while traveling to make a good cup of coffee. So stay tuned. Today we're going to take a look at this. It's by a company called Coffee Gator. It is a pour over travel coffee system. Stay tuned. We'll check it out. A lot of people believe that a pour over cup of coffee creates the best cup. Now there's a lot of controversy on that. I've made a lot of good cups of coffee with all kinds of methods, but pour over is very popular. A couple of years ago, Yeti put out an insulated cup and it was all the rage. Well now, insulated cups are a dime a dozen. You can get them anywhere. This Coffee Gator one looks very nice. Looks just like any other insulated cup out there you'd get. One of the things that I do like about it is that it's pretty narrow at the bottom, so it should fit in most cup holders in today's cars. Another thing that I like is that the filter that it comes with just sits right on top and allows you to make a simple pour over cup of coffee. We'll take a very close look at that here in a second. But this filter does not require any paper filter. It's got like an inside super fine mesh and then an outside mesh Combining those two, it really keeps the grounds out and makes a good cup of coffee. I've used this thing about four or five times so far. It's made good coffee for me. So let's take a closer look at it and then we'll make some coffee. So up close, you guys can see this is a very nice little insulated mug. The top is interesting. It has both obviously the place for you to open up and drink out of, but it also has this little pressure release, which is nice. Sometimes it's hard to get these open. You get such a strong pressure that it's hard to get this open. All you gotta do is just pop that open and it relieves the pressure enough for you to easily be able to open this up. The mug, like I said, is nothing else too special. The filter itself is very, very nice. Like I said, it's got a handle, which is nice. So you can pick it up, move it around. It has a decent capacity for coffee, and I don't know if you guys can see, I'll try to zoom you in. There's a very, very fine mesh on the inside, and then the very, very fine particles get screened out by this inner part. This isn't hard, right? Let's make some coffee. It's a simple pour over cup of coffee. All right, so let's make a quick cup. We'll put our filter right on. Got some freshly ground coffee here. We'll just kind of see how much we'll put. That ought to do. Have some water here I boiled. Whenever you make pour over coffee, you want to add just a little bit at first. That allows you to let this coffee bloom a little bit, and then we just slowly pour it through. There we go. Give it about a minute to fully drain and you should have a cup of coffee. Nice and drained. Of course, one last addition for my coffee will be a little bit of heavy cream. And we've got ourselves a cup of coffee for the morning. Just put on our top. You can see here the pressure that's created. All you gotta do is just open this up, put it down, close her down. In case you guys are wondering, it's about 6.9 inches long. It holds 20 ounces of fluid and it weighs about nine ounces total from the standpoint of weight. It does create a pretty significant seal, so you wanna make sure and use that little pressure release. Let's give it a try. It's good. Of course, pour over coffee, a lot of it has to do with the quality of your beans. Make sure you freshly grind beans and make sure you source beans that are pretty freshly roasted and that'll make a huge difference. This is a smooth cup of coffee. So if you love pour over coffee and you don't want to do without it on the road, this is a great option. It's available on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below and it's pretty inexpensive. All you have to do is choose the color that you want. It's between $15 and $18 depending on the color. This is a nice little gray color and I got the cheapest one which was $15. It's a great option for the road and I think it's pretty darn well made. This cup itself is like I said like any other insulated cup seems very very high quality the biggest thing is it feels as good a quality as any other stuff you can buy like I said originally Yeti made these now you can buy Arctic you can buy them at uh, Walmart you can do whatever and get them very inexpensively and they all work pretty well I love the fact you don't have to have a paper filter this filter works extremely well at keeping out any of the grinds from your coffee it gives you a nice nice clean cup of coffee and it really is a pretty complete solution for the road for 15 to 18 dollars only thing i wish is that you had a way to carry this inside obviously it's not going to work because of the design but you do have to carry these things separately i like kits i wish that could fit right inside of it but it's pretty hard to make a system like that it would still work the way this one does. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up down below. It really helps to spread things across YouTube. 
If you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, hit the subscription button. And if you want to be absolutely sure you don't miss any videos, hit that ding dong bell and you will be the first to know. I have an entire playlist on coffee. I will put that down below as well. Make sure you check it out. I have tons of videos on coffee in the woods as well as my new travel series about making coffee while you're on the road. Once again, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon. <music>